Hi everybody, this is Oksana and today I'm going to show you how to make this adjustable ring. So what makes it adjustable is on the back it has this little gap. So it can get, you know, a little smaller and a little bigger. The gap can get, you know, tighter. And that'll make this fit um, instead of just one size, just like a few different sizes. It's not adjustable from something super tiny to something super big, but um, this one, for example, I made it around a seven, so it could be like from a six to maybe like an eight, eight and a half. So um, in this video, I'm going to make this ring, and um, first I'm going to take these wires that you see up here, and I'm going to do something a little different with them. Um, however, then I end up, you know, trimming it and doing this. So when you see me make the ring, you'll be like, hmm, why isn't it looking like this at the very end? And that's because I show you two different options. So if you like um, this look up here, just, just wait a little bit, and then I kind of delve into um, option two. So this is a ring. It can be like a little crown or a little heart, but it's just an adjustable ring here. If you want to see how I made it, then just keep watching. I'm starting out with 16 inches, um, two 16 inch pieces of 18 gauge square copper dead soft wire. And I'm using a little thicker wire um, because I want this ring to be more sturdy since it, um, the way it's put together, it's not going to have a stone and it's not going to be, have like weaving wire all throughout it. But you can use um, slightly thinner gauge too, that's fine. So I am just kind of eyeballing the middle of this. You can kind of measure it if you want to be exact. But right in the middle, I'm just going to take some 22 gauge half round wire and I'm just leaving it on the spool and just kind of using a little bit and then I'll just cut it afterwards. But I'm putting it the flat side down and I'm just wrapping it around. Just like this and I'm going to leave myself um, a little tail here on both sides like that and I'm also going to squish it down with my pliers and my wires are probably too long but I want you to have like the flexibility to be creative with it you'll see what I do but if you want to kind of elaborate more and do more things this way you'll have the wires available for that. So this is going to be an adjustable ring, but even with adjustable ring, we want some kind of base size because the way adjustable rings work is they have a little gap in the back. And so you can make that gap smaller or bigger depending on the size that you're going for. So I'm going to start with um, seven because seven is just kind of an average size. So if you want to make a much smaller size, like four, seven's not going to be adjustable down to four. Like the little gap, um, things are just going to overlap back there. So I would, you know, go ahead and just start with roughly the size that you want. And then you'll have like a little bit of, of adjustability, but not so much that you can jump just like a ton of sizes. So I'm going to kind of bring the ends over here to the front just so you can see what I'm doing but what I'm gonna do with the ends is I'm gonna do one side at a time but I'm basically just taking it and using my thumb I'm pressing it down and making it go like this okay so you see that so this is gonna be our little gap for adjustability so it might be easier for you from here on to either, you know, keep this on the ring mandrel or to take it off, um, try different things, whatever, you know, feels best. It's kind of nice to be able to press down against the ring mandrel. Um, if you take it off, there's a risk that you're just going to like squish the ring and misshape it. So just see how you go. You could always take it off, put it back on. It's totally up to you. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to bend it in such a way that it aligns with the other wires here and I'm going to do that on this side as well. 
because um, I'm going to be connecting those wires. Okay, so I am going to take it off so that I can make that connection. So I'm going to take my 22 gauge wire here, and oop, that's the it needs to be the flat side down. And I'm just going to make this connection. Now the tricky thing with rings is normally with pendants you would try to like hide the little wire ends um, like under a stone or something. But with a ring, really all of the ring is pretty much exposed. So when it comes to your wire ends, if you cut them on the front, you know, they'll be visible on the front. If you cut them to the back, they might, you know, be visible on the back. So, oh, sorry about that loud noise. I just dropped my ring mandrel. I'm just going to press these down. So what I'm going to do to try and kind of hide the wire ends is I'm going to try and hide them kind of like underneath other wires. So this one, I'm gonna tuck here and then I'm gonna trim it like really short so it's not exactly on the back. I'll zoom in in one second, but it, um, I'm just gonna press it down a little bit. So it obviously is like the teeniest bit in the back. I wanna make sure that you can't feel it, but it's almost like right on the edge of the wire, of like this wire here. And then this other one, I'm actually just going to trim this so that I can reach it here with my pliers. I'm going to push it through and just kind of pull at it. So here it is here. I think it got a little twisted. I'm just going to untwist it first. But basically, yeah, the same thing with this one. I'm going to try to almost just keep it like right on the edge of this wire. And I'm just going to try and kind of squish all of that together. Okay. So now this is connected here and um, ignore these little wire ends. I'm sorry if they're kind of getting in the way. Now you just have to do the same exact thing on this side here. So I'm going to just wrap that around. Roughly three times and then I'm going to try and Hide these little wire ends the best that I can. So putting this one through and then just kind of trimming it so it's just hidden right there, kind of in between these wires. Kind of see it a little bit there. I'm just going to squish it though so that it's really pressed down and you won't be able to feel that little wire end sticking out there. You don't want it to stick out. Oh, there we go. So now you can barely even, barely even see it at all. And then this one here, same kind of thing. Just gonna get back here and just trim it almost like flush with the other wires and then it's like I'm pressing it down but there's really not anything to press down because there's like just the teeniest little end okay so now you can't feel it so if you want to put it back on the mandrel now would be a good time to do so so you can see how our ring is looking so here, it is going to be some sort of um, 
decorative element to the ring. So what we did just now is what makes the ring adjustable. This is going to be the back. Um, and then this part here, the front, that's going to be your decoration. There's so many things that you can do that I have done. And, um, you know, feel free to be creative with this because that's why... Um, I cut kind of long, longer wires here. You can do all kinds of different little swirls and things there. Um, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna connect these wires right here. With my half round 22 gauge wire. There we go, just like that. And again, with the little wire ends, um, you can either kind of have them be on the front and try to cover it up or just try to like tuck them away again so they're like right in between the wires. So if I take this, just put it down in here and then just trim it so the end is essentially just between the wires there. Okay, and then this as well. <clears throat> oh, sorry. So then same thing here. Just gonna squish that all down. So now um, our wires are connected. So you can put on the ring mandrel again if you want to, or just hold it. Whatever is easiest. And now you just want to think about any sort of decoration that you want to make. Any kind of swirls. You can add beads. So um, this down here, I have these little wire ends and I left them for a reason. If you want to connect something, you know, to something else, <laughs> then you always have those there. Um, and that gives you that option. So you can kind of almost like make a little heart and crisscross them. And you could tie them down with these little ends, connect them, and then just kind of like swirl the little end. Um, that's one option. I think what I'm going to do is I am going to make that little heart shape. But I am going to not crisscross it. I'm just going to bend the bottom so it's kind of like this. See that? And then I'm going to use these little ends that I have to attach. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to kind of wrap it around. And then I'm just going to wrap it a few times just around the single wire here. Just like three times is adequate. And then I'm going to trim it so that it's on the edge of that wire so the wire end is not in the front or the back that's why um another reason it's nice to have thick wire because it will be um easier there'll be a bigger side to your wire since the wire is thicker okay so now we're just gonna wrap a few times make that connection Trim that off. So what I'm going to do now is bend these upwards so that they're, you know, very similar to each other. And then I'm just going to trim them in such a way that they're the same, same height. 
and I'm going to swirl them. Let me just grab my round nose pliers. So I'm grabbing my round nose pliers and then I'm grabbing the little tip and I'm just making a swirl. You can use your regular pliers later to, if you wanna kinda squish that swirl down more. Like mine isn't touching all the way. There we go. Okay, and just press that down. Here's how it's looking. So now you have these two wires. So let me think of what I want to do here. So I think that it would be nice to have them go kind of this way. And Okay, this might be a little slightly difficult, but take the end of it. It's always hard to kind of like put wire through <laughs> tight little spaces, but what I'm going to do actually is I'm going to trim it just a little bit. That'll make it easier. Otherwise, it'll um, be a little difficult. So I'm going to put it through basically this, this hole here. You'll see in a second once it going through there but just kind of bending it and you want to just it's not like string you don't want to pull on it too much you want to just kind of guide it into place because sometimes if you pull you can accidentally pull too hard and everything just kind of gets squished out of place so you see what I did there? This wire, it was coming down, 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 I, and then it went to the back, and now it's coming back through right there. So if you're finding this difficult, you know, then feel free to do something else. Like maybe just cut this and make a little decorative swirl. I was actually thinking that I was going to do that until I had this idea, and I decided to, you know, try something else. But that would be um, a little bit of an easier kind of choice there. Okay, so just like this, and then trim it, oops, and then just swirl it. Okay, just like that. And now just same thing here on this side. So I'm just gonna trim it a little bit shorter so it's easier for me to work with. And to be really fancy with this, you can really use the wires. You can you know, bring them back here and just make all kinds of little decorations with them. So now I'm just going to put this wire through the hole just like I did on the other side. Just kind of carefully and gently guiding it. like this and then we're just gonna press that down a little bit and just um, we'll just finish that off with a little swirl just like on the other side so I'm just squishing this little end here, the little 
there we go, the little wire end, so that I can have a nice, um, tight little swirl. Oops. Okay, so then I'm just going to press those down. And really, that's it. So now that I did that, I kind of want to show you, because this was a little bit difficult to bring the wire all the way through here, and it could get misshapen. So I just want to show you that other thing that I was talking about um, that you could have done instead. So I'm just removing these swirls you'll see in a second okay so I removed those little swirls that I did so basically if you didn't want to do that whole thing um, see this wire here this is just like a, a loose wire this is the wire that we originally had so if you don't want to do that whole thing that I did what you would do is you would just curve the wire down and trim it off on both sides here. Let me just lift this one up a little bit for you. There you go. So just, you know, that extra wire, just kind of continue it, give it a nice little curve and just trim it down here. And then what you would do, or what you can do, is just kind of squish that little wire end and make a nice little loop here. like this and I'll press that down with my flat um, pliers in a second I'm gonna do the other side first so I'm squishing that little end of the wire so it, you know it's pointy and not flat and that way when I make the little loop um, it just has like a tighter, it's closed in a tighter way. Okay, where's my pliers here? Now we just have to try and make this nice and symmetrical. And now we can just press that down. Just get in there and press it down flat. All right, and that is it. Let me grab my ring mandrel there. So it does get a little bit misshapen just from working with your hands with it. So you just wanna reshape it back to you know a nice rounded size and that's it this is the, the other version so thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time bye